Welcome to Peace Love Learn. Before we get started, take a moment to show this channel some love by clicking the subscribe button. Today's read aloud explores the character strength, Prudence. Let's read The Virtue of Prudence, written by Alex Cabrara and Vignette Montanay, and illustrated by Rosa M. Curto. Why is it important to be prudent? Prudence means taking the time needed to make a smart decision. When you are prudent, you think things through and consider the impact of your words and actions. Spaghetti is so good. I like spaghetti so much that I gobble one forkful after another. One, two, three, forgetting that there is something else I also like a lot, dessert. If only I had thought about that before, but now I'm too full to enjoy it. I got lost. Hold our hands, mom and dad always tell me, but I got distracted today and got lost. Where are they? I shout. I cry. Then I remember what dad's hat looks like and what color mom's coat is. I look for a green hat and a red coat. I stay in place so they can find me. Here they come. The wise cow. I have a cow at home. It's a little clay bank with small ears and big eyes. It seems to look at me every time I have a coin and am thinking about spending it to buy candy. Give it to me, it seems to say to me. When my tummy is full, you'll be able to buy something you want more, something that will last longer. Who did it? I don't know how it happened, but some black paint got on dad's papers, large black spots and smudges. Maybe the paint fell from the ceiling or blew in from the street. No, that's not believable. It was hard, but I told dad what really happened. I'm sorry, it was me, I said to dad. He smiled and gave me a paintbrush. Here, this time paint at your table, okay? Tag, you're it. Why do you always win when we play blindfold tag? I ask a friend. It's not a secret, he says. You have to stay calm and not turn toward every sound you hear. Walk slowly and don't forget to listen carefully. The sounds that others make will tell you where they are. The disappearing notebook. Somebody has taken my notebook. I think it was somebody from class, I told my teacher, seeing that my notebook was not in my backpack. She calmed me down by saying, wait, before accusing anybody, think about when you used it last. Where were you and what were you doing? I did what my teacher said, then I opened my desk and there it was, I had forgotten. Raining oranges. When we go to the store, my brothers and I play a game to see who can put the food we need in the cart first. Five oranges, says dad. Then we all run off to find them. One time I was in such a hurry that I forgot to take the oranges from the top of the display. I took one from the bottom and they all fell on my head. Hey, it's raining oranges, exclaimed the grocer. The shy cat. My aunt has a cat you can't pick up. I always chase him around until he hides under the couch. Leave him be, the adults tell me. The more you try to catch him, the more scared he will be. This time, I don't do anything. I wait until he comes to me. And yes, he gets more trusting and comes right up to me. Hats off. What do you think of my hat? Asked my mother proudly. She looks like she's wearing a chicken on her head, but I can't tell her that. So I look for the right words to tell her the truth in a kind way that won't hurt her feelings. It hides your hair too much and your hair is very nice. Maybe you can find a better hat. 
Pleased with what I said, we both left the store with new hats. The new kid. At the start of each school year, there always seems to be a new kid in class. This time, it's me. My new classmates seem like they aren't quite sure what to think of me at first. I know they're wondering whether I'd make a good friend. I'll do just what mom and dad told me. I'll introduce myself and be kind to everyone. Then I will make friends in no time. Different bins for different things. After dinner, it's time to clean up the kitchen. Sometimes I throw all the trash into the same bin because I'm always in a hurry to go out to play. At home, we have different colored bins for separating the plastic and paper from the rest of the garbage. It takes a bit longer to put the things in the right bins, but that way we help the planet. Red, the color that warns us. Just like a red traffic light tells cars when to stop, the red flag on the beach tells us that we're not allowed to swim. We might get hurt, Mom explains, when she sees our sad faces. Then she takes out a shovel and rake and exclaims, but nobody says we can't make a sandcastle. Very careful. We get home with a basket full of berries that we gathered while we were outside. We shout, Grandma, let's bake our berries in a pie. She looks at the berries and says, mm, not so fast. First, we need to look at them very carefully. Nature talks to us and tells us which ones are good and which ones are not. Look, those bright blue ones will give us tummy aches, but the raspberries and blackberries will make a delicious pie. Fun in the sun. I love swim lessons, especially on sunny days. I wear my bathing suit and bring a towel. I wiggle and squirm as mom and dad help me put on sunscreen. I don't want to put on sunscreen. I want to leave for my swim lessons now, I say. When I get to the pool, my swim teacher thanks me for coming prepared for the lesson with my sunscreen on and all ready to go. A lake of birds. The last time we were here, it was too noisy and all the birds had been frightened away. Now I know that I have to be quiet and wait a while to see the ducks come out of their hiding places or for a seagull to dive into the water to catch a frog. With the binoculars, you'll see better, whispers my uncle. When you are prudent, you show respect for yourself and others. You value and take care of your home school, and nature. Did you enjoy this book? Explore more books by these same authors. You can learn about effort, such as working hard, listening, and becoming more patient. Click the link in the description to purchase this book for your home or school library. Thanks for tuning in. You can support Peace Love Learn's mission to provide free social and emotional learning resources to teachers and families by subscribing to this channel. Much love and toodaloo until next time.